Hello and welcome to the Daily Word. May the peace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you. Today is the feast of the Transfiguration, when Jesus revealed his spiritual and godly essence in physical form to his three apostles. Today's scripture readings are filled with incredible imagery. The Transfiguration is one of my favorite stories, not just because of the beautiful images of Christ, but because of Peter's reaction. Daniel describes God clothing as white as snow, sitting on a throne, flaming with fire. He describes the Son of Man, coming with the clouds of heaven and his kingdom is one that will never be destroyed. The psalmist says that righteousness and justice are the foundations of his throne. Peter tells believers that these aren't just stories they have heard, they were eyewitnesses. And Luke describes the transfiguration. One of the amazing things about Christ is his ability to use anyone to accomplish God's will. And I mean anyone. I find great encouragement in Peter's humanity. If God can use Peter, he can use anyone, even me. In the Transfiguration story, Peter is rash and spontaneous to the point of being laughable. Peter sees Jesus speaking to Moses and Elijah. How does he react? He could have bowed down in reverence. He could have run in fear. He could have said, wow. Instead, he says, this is great. Let's pitch a tent and stay up here. I wonder how Jesus reacted. Did he look heavenward and say, this isn't really the one, is he? Did he frown and shake his head at such a foolish reaction? Or did he lovingly smile at Peter's enthusiasm? I see Christ's love and patience shining as brightly as his clothes in this moment. We all have mountaintop experiences. Those times of inspiration, joy and enthusiasm. The birth of a child is a mountaintop experience for some. Graduating is a mountaintop experience for some. Falling in love is a mountaintop experience for some. People laugh, people cry, they say and do stupid things. I wonder how God does that. After a mountaintop experience, We'd love to pitch a tent and stay up on the mountain with Christ. However, the fact of life is that we live in the world. We often have to reside in valleys that are dark. The key is to remember that Christ loves us and is with us wherever we are. Whether it's holding a baby on the mountain top or holding the hand of a dying loved one in the valley. Let us pray. God our Father, give us your grace that we may be open to your word. Lord Jesus Christ, help us to do the Father's will just as you did. Holy Spirit, be our comforter and counsellor and lead us on our way. Amen. Thank you for joining us on The Daily Word. Until next time, be cheerful, be holy.